Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Minecraft Dungeon. Uh, the game is running on Unreal Engine 4. It's well optimized, honestly. Uh, it runs really well on my computer. But still, I will show you how to optimize your FPS if you have like a low-end computer, a laptop, or some something like that. First of all, write game mode here. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Uh, you will lose FPS and you will get maybe some stuttering sometimes. So really important to put it at off. Game bar at off and capture at off. So background recording at off and recorded audio at off. Really important. Also really important to update your driver, uh, your GPU driver. So if you have NVIDIA, go on the NVIDIA website. AMD, same thing. Go on the AMD website. Uh, popular game like that always have like some optimization by uh, the GPU maker. So really important to do it. Also, if you don't have a lot of RAM, like 4 gig or even 8 gig, I recommend you to look at my guide that I previously uploaded yesterday, uh, how to optimize your RAM and also how to create the virtual memory to help your RAM because you don't have a lot of RAM and it will help you a lot when you're gaming. So now let's go inside of the game. So now for the graphic parameter, you have to go to display and graphics, click on this. First thing that you need to change is the display mode. By default, it will be borderless mode. Uh, so you want to use full screen. You will gain 2 to 3% in your FPS. So a nice jump over there. Resolution, it really depends on your monitor. Me, I'm playing 1080p. So after all my guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, probably you will need to change your resolution. Uh, for graphic, don't touch the preset over there. Just click advanced setting. So you want to limit, first of all, the FPS uh, with your monitor. So if, if you have a 60 Hz screen, just put 60 over there. If you have 144 Hz, put 144. Uh, you can use the FPS counter if you want to do some tests. So when you're changing graphic parameter, you want to test it. VSync at off. Ambient inclusion. Uh, remove this one. 3 to 4% in increase in your FPS. So really important, this one. Anti-aliasing uh, between medium and low, depending on your computer. If you have a, a, an old mid-range computer, medium should be fine in this game. If you have a low-end uh, low computer, but recent, low should be fine. For sure, if you have like an integrated video card on, uh, on an old laptop, just remove the anti-aliasing. It will you, help you a lot. It's pretty much 2 to 3% for each bracket. Shadow quality now. Shadow quality is the most important thing in this game. If you go... Uh, I to off, you will gain to between 12 to 14 percent in FPS. So be before changing anything else, just start with shadow and uh, quality and ambient inclusion. Test your game, and if you're uh, happy with your uh, frame rate, just stay like that. And don't touch anything else. Particle is more like if you're getting stuttering, mini lag, stuff like that uh, when you're fighting, so your, your FPS are dropping. Uh, this one you need to touch it for sure. Uh, go with low if you. Uh, if at medium you're fine, just stay at medium. I see a big difference between high and medium, so just go with medium and it will help you a lot. Bloom, I just don't like this effect in this game, so just remove it and it will give you approximately 1% to 2% depending on the situation. So after that, you need to apply. And now let's go to the config file. So now to find the config file, you have to go into your C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data, local, package, Microsoft Levitka, blah, blah, blah. Local cache, local, dungeons, save, config, and Windows No Editor. After that, you need to open the game user setting. This is pretty much all the stuff that you change inside of the game. So as you can see, my frame rate is limit, all the stuff that I put. The only thing that uh, can help you is the foliage because you don't have this option inside of the game. Uh, it, uh, it will help you a lot, honestly. So um, just like lower it at one. After that, save, click X, and make sure that you're blocking this file. So go properties, read only, applied. And after that, you make sure that the game will not overwrite your game user setting. So if you have any question about the optimization of this game, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you with the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.